Hi, it's Mark Hockman again from PC World here at the Qualcomm Technology Snapdragon Technology Summit here in Maui. And we had an earlier crash with the uh, HCX. This is a Snapdragon HCX. This is that chip that's being built from the ground up from the PCs. But So we looked at that a little bit, but this is actually, we want to make sure that we highlighted this. This is actually the ARM64 build of Firefox here. And you can tell by that nice little logo down the bottom and the Firefox nightly indication. So I'm going to go ahead to YouTube, try this again to see what we looked like before uh, when we sort of looked at the uh, 4K stuff. It did crash, but let's give it another shot, see how it works. <clears throat> Now, the nice thing about Firefox, of course, is it's just, it's just we're talking about uh, not only a faster, more optimized browser, but one that's more uh, compatible, not necessarily compatible, but, but one that's the preferred favorite of more and more people. Obviously, we had Edge, relatively small market share. Chrome is really the big one, and we don't actually see the Chromium browser on this right now. Remember, this, of course, is uh, a prototype device. Uh, the chip is going to ship in the third quarter, sorry, ship into devices in the third quarter of next year. So, let's see, that's just a quick look at the, the apps. Let's go back to the browser and take a look at that. So we have, oh, well, we can skip the ad, can't we? <laughs> so let's whip up to, say, the middle. See if it'll how. So this is sort of a test of both the uh, network as well as the processor itself. We'll go up to this is a 720p, so we want to go up to 2160p. See what it really looks like. Let's go ahead and close this little ad here. Again, this I, the idea behind the 8CX is not performance. Again, this is sort of it puts it at odds with the whole. Gosh, the whole infrastructure of both tech media and sort of what people think about in terms of computer, and that is to do everything as fast as it can. Um, this really is more about longevity and battery life. Now, I'm not entirely certain if this is an indication that the network is slow or there's some problems with the processor, but this is kind of giving us a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem. So, let's go again back to some of these other things. Just check it out. I mean, you know, it certainly feels quick and responsive, and that is exactly what you want in terms of a, uh, and this is exactly what you want in terms of a browser. Um, we'll just flip that there. We're not running benchmarks. We can't, we've been told we can't run benchmarks, but we can at least see what kind of network we're running on. That's about 26 megabits down. So it looks like we have enough bandwidth. We're not sure if we're running actually on a 4G, or sorry, a 5G network or not. So, but again, this looks pretty good as far as just loading up pages and so forth. Um, I think we'll find that this is an 8 megabyte machine. Or sorry, an 8 gigabyte machine. Uh, yep, sure is. 8 gigabyte machine. So, we're not... Since we're sort of hamstrung with the fact that we can't run benchmarks and... Oh, yeah, there it is again. So I'm not entirely certain. We saw that moving just for a second, didn't we? <laughs> and then it's paused. So it might be the processor. Let's go ahead and check the task manager once again and see how everything's hanging out. Uh, really not using up a whole lot of CPU or memory. So I think that right now we're seeing some limitations in the network itself. Again, performance is such an issue here that we need to see performance that's comparable to... Uh, an Intel CPU, and this specifically supposedly has a Core i5 performance in it, uh, before we can actually see really co real, some real competition with, with Intel devices. So um, that's really sort of an early look at the 8CX. We're going to hopefully see a little bit more of a full-featured review sometime in the future. We don't have any customers for this yet. Lenovo went on stage day, sort of committed or at least showed support for the Snapdragon architecture, but didn't commit to an 8CX. So, again, this is a prototype device. Really not much to see here. We've looked at this in a separate video. Just an ordinary device. We do have the one uh, um, SIM card here, and that's sort of the key to the whole platform. Connectivity, low, uh, connectivity, long battery life, and hopefully decent performance. So. That's uh, the Firefox browser in a nutshell. A little bit more about the device itself. Again, it's Mark Hockman with PC World, and please stay tuned for other videos from the Qualcomm Snapdragon Technology Conference here in sunny Maui. Thanks for watching.